I flipped my first real estate property in six weeks on a low budget teacher salary. I took a $30,000 investment and flipped it into a $178,000 investment in two years at the time of this recording. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I flipped my first real estate property in six weeks on a low income teacher salary and how you can do the same to build wealth for you and your family. Even if you are a teacher, make sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing with you before and after pictures of the property and my number one piece of advice for you if you're interested in flipping a real estate property on a low income teacher salary. Hey, hey, my name is Bree. I'm an elementary school teacher and a high vibe coach. I empower teachers to evolve into their best high vibe versions of themselves by busting through the crap holding them back and creating financial freedom for themselves and their families. To get started working with me, make sure to download my millionaire teacher plan where I share my simple budget system that allowed me to invest into real estate, cryptocurrency, and create 12 streams of income on a low budget teacher salary. The link for that will be available down below. So I was able to flip a house in six weeks. It was crunch time by the time we closed on the house to the time that we were able to move in. So the reason why we needed to flip this house so quickly was because typically when you first buy a home or an investment property, you do not have to pay on that first month's mortgage. Because the bank is still transferring your information, that first month is essentially like free. We decided to capitalize on this opportunity and get the house flipped in six weeks. So our first month was not due until August 1st. We closed on the house mid-July so that meant six weeks to get this house flipped so by the time our mortgage was due we would already have renters living in the property to cover the mortgage that was the whole point of this investment property that was our game plan going into it we did a majority of the work ourselves and we grinded through those six weeks day and night 12 hour days to get this flip done but it is 100% possible so we wanted to keep the cost as low as possible so we decided to do a majority majority of this flip ourselves and grinded through the six weeks, literally day and night, 12 hour days, just grinding on this house. I go into a lot greater detail about this entire house flipping experience on my podcast where I share all the ups, the downs, the crazy experiences, the wild stories that we experienced during this flip. So if you're feeling inspired, I highly, highly, highly recommend you check out that podcast episode. It will be linked down below for you. So when we closed on this house, it was supposed to be a 30 day escrow, which in turn would give us a longer time to flip. However, shit happens. And our 30 day escrow went to a 60 day escrow, which totally threw a wrench in our plans. However, we were compensated for it with a couple thousand dollars, which we used towards the flip of the house. And it honestly worked out pretty well. So huge, huge bonus tip right here. How we were able to keep the cost so low on this flip was because we leveraged my husband's amazing credit card score. We we purchased all of the house flipping supplies through a Lowe's credit card. My husband has one of the best credit scores I've ever seen in my life. So we leveraged his credit score to open this Lowe's credit card that had zero financing for a year. Also, my husband is a veteran and he got an additional 10% off all these purchases as well, which really helped. So we already had the play written out and we knew we would easily be able to earn that income back to pay off that credit card before the year was over with. And that's exactly what what happened. We used the money from our tenants to cover the cost of the flip off the credit card. We were able to pay the credit card in full after that year and there was no interest accumulated and we didn't have to use any of our own money. So give this video a thumbs up if you are ready to learn how to flip a house in six weeks and if you are ready to build wealth for you and your family. The first step I took and you can too when flipping a house on a low income teacher salary is to invest into the perfect property and run the play. Going in with a game plan is a must. When you are in the process of looking for your perfect investment, property brainstorm brainstorm what kind of property you want to invest in with my first investment property I knew the exact type of home I wanted to invest in we also knew that we were going to house hack this property which meant we were looking for a very specific 
house model, a very specific number of rooms and bathrooms. House hacking just means you live in the house while you live with other tenants and the tenants pay for your mortgage so you don't have to. Huge high vibe tip here, ding, ding, ding. When you're brainstorming your perfect property that you want to invest in, tap into who your dream buyer slash renter is. So that means take out a piece of paper and start to journal. What does your dream buyer slash dream renter do for a living? What does their lifestyle look like? What are they doing on the weekends? What are they doing when they're off work? How often do they work? What do they do for work? Also creating a vision board is so helpful. Create a vision board on the style of home and the vibe that you're looking to invest in. Visualize and play around with the style of house. How do you want to flip it? What colors do you want to use? What kind of style? do you want to flip it into this is personally my favorite part and you will see in the after video the kind of theme I was going for I absolutely love how the house turned out so be sure to stay to the end it is an amazing transformation and I will say I styled it on myself I think I do a good job. I also made an entire step-by-step -step video on how I invested into my first rental property on a low income teacher salary. I will leave that video linked down below for you, so be sure to check it out. It is very helpful. The second step I took in flipping a house in six weeks on a low teacher income salary was to clean it out and make it brand new. Going into this plan, we knew we wanted to spend the least amount of money possible for our perfect investment property. I knew we found the perfect house the moment I walked into this house. However, the house needed a lot of love and care for sure. We bought the house at a lower cost because of the quality of the house when we first bought it. The people who previously lived in that house, they were renters for 10 years and the house was managed by a property management company. So the old renters did not take care of the house. The previous owner smoked in the house on a regular basis. So it was not smelling good. Um, they smoked weed. I mean, it wasn't as bad as cigarette smell, but it still did not smell good. Drawers were falling off the island. There was chips in the counters. The shower door was falling off it just was not the vibe but I was able to see past all that nonsense and see the beautiful potential that was in this house and that's all because of the vision board that I mapped it out on a vision board and I knew exactly what I was looking for and I found it so we cleaned the house top to bottom. We cleaned the ceilings, we cleaned the walls, we cleaned the floors, we cleaned the bathrooms. We cleaned every space, every surface area we could when we first moved into the house, when we first closed, when we first got the keys on the house. We even cleaned the doors, the doorknobs, we cleaned everything. We used a special cleaning solution of water and TSP to get rid of the smell and the dirt and the gunk and the literal smoke stuck on the walls and it transformed the whole house just by cleaning with the TSP solution amazing results we also changed out the air filters and we scrubbed the back patio and the driveway with a pressure wash I linked the cleaner we use down below in case you're interested in it it is very 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 powerful and it worked really really well the third step I took in flipping a house in six weeks on a low income teacher salary was making very quick a Updates to add new life and a new vibe into the property. Paint is one of the quickest and easiest ways to transform a space. We painted every single wall, every ceiling, every door. We repainted everything and it made the biggest difference. We also made the decision to upgrade on all of the flooring in the house because it just was not taken care of at all for 10 years. Updating the new flooring was my favorite part of the whole transformation of the house. We did a lot of the removing ourselves, so we had to knock out all the tile. We had to scrape off the sticky vinyl that was on the floor. It was a lot of work, but it made all the transformation in the house. We decided to install a lower cost carpet because we are renting out this property until we sell. And we also used a medium average price cost of vinyl flooring. We went with vinyl because you can easily clean off of it. It doesn't um, get ruined if there's water spilt on it. And it was really, really beautiful and matched my whole theme. The new flooring was such a vibe and it just completely transformed 
transform the house. It was so, so, so worth the money of the materials and the labor. We changed doorknobs, we painted doors. Uh, we also repainted the front door and the window trimmings on the outside. Again, paint is your best friend in a flip. <laughs> the fourth step I took in flipping a house in six weeks on a low income teacher salary was to upgrade the appliances. So instead of buying brand new appliances, which was not in the budget, didn't want to do it, was instead we looked on let go slash offer up for appliances that people were selling. Let go and offer up is an app that you can use to snap a photo, sell an appliance, sell something from your house and chat with potential buyers on the app in your area. So that's what we did. And since we were renting the property, we didn't want to buy brand new appliances and we wanted to keep our costs as low as possible. So we purchased a washer, a dryer, a refrigerator, a microwave, and an oven all off let go. Easy, they worked great, they matched our aesthetic of the house as well, and it was super, super affordable. In six weeks, the house was move-in ready. It was a wild ride of ups and downs, but it was so, 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 so much fun. I, w I would do it again. <laughs> now, hear me out. You can be, do, have, create, invest, anything that your heart desires. Just because you're a teacher or have a low salary to work with to invest into a home does not mean you cannot do it. Just because you're a teacher does not mean you have to be broke. It is a bull lie that because you're a teacher, you're forever going to be broke and you're forever going to have to struggle. You can be a teacher that makes more money than they know what to do with. You can be a teacher with so much overflow that you're able to invest into a real estate property. You can be a teacher with 12 streams of of income or more. You can be a teacher that creates wealth for yourself and your family for generations to come. You can be a teacher that creates wealth for yourself and your family while transmuting your positive energy, your positive vibe to help and encourage others around you. That's what being high vibe is all about. Take your story back of being a broke teacher and turn that into gold. Anything or anyone that says you cannot be, do, have anything that you desire is a bullshit lie and it is your job to take that story and use that story as fuel. If you're ready to transform the way you vibe with money and want to create a business, an extra stream of income, an investment property for you and your family, the link to work with me will be available down below. After you're done working with me, you will have a personalized high vibe game plan to meet your money goals and desires no matter what they are. You can be, do, have anything your heart desires. My number one piece of advice when flipping a house is understand and lean in to the ups and downs of the experience. Flow with the process, enjoy the process. This is an experience. Be present with each step of the way and really enjoy the present moment of doing this for yourself, doing this for your family. Investing and building wealth is all about personal alignment and creativity. So have fun. Also, having an amazing group of family and friends to help with the flip is extremely helpful and so much more fun. Thank you to our friends and family who helped with this flip. We could not have done it without you. You guys are the best. Buy some pizza and some beer, play some music, and have fun during the flipping process. It is so much more fun. All right, let's get into the video tour. All right, house tour. There used to be a giant water fountain here. We took it all down, put these rocks down last year, and just planted a little planter full of plants, as you can see. We repainted the door. Here's the little home. And then here's like the sitting room, I guess it's called. The dining room. We put the chandelier here. We changed out the fans. This rug is from Costco. The couches are from Let Go. Anything else you guys want to know, let me know and I will tell you in the comments. Dining room tables from Let Go, and I re upholstered the seats with fabric. And then here's the main living room. This is wallpaper right here, fireplace, 
couches are from a furniture store. Sorry for my dogs, they're freaking out. But here's my coffee bar. I actually got that personally made from Let Go. If you need any of the links to anything, please let me know. There's my doggies. This dining room's not really, this table is a little messed up, but this is what the kitchen looks like. I'm having my bridal shower here tomorrow, so there's flowers. Island we painted. This is brand new. Here's what the kitchen looks like from here. We painted these cabinets in navy blue. This countertop is quartz. This is a quartz countertop. Here's the sink. It's a wide open sink. This, these floors are vinyl and we redid all the floors. This is wallpaper from Wayfair. Oh, I see a piece of tape I need to get. Good thing I saw that. I'll show you guys the backyard. All right, so here's our backyard. We're having the bridal shower here tomorrow, so it's done a little differently, but we put wood chips over there. That's the bar we're using. The grass, we laid all this grass down last year in 2020. This used to be all dirt and weeds. We laid it completely down. And when we bought the house, there was just a bunch of um, like beer cans and stuff on the floor. It was crazy. Then we have these rose bushes lined up. Some of them are blooming. Here is our nice little sitting area. Let me know if you want the links to this. This is from Amazon. This rug is from Target. Bean bag from Target. Um, we didn't put any grass here because we don't know what to do with this yet. I kind of feel like leaving it like this for the next owners if we decide to sell, but here's a fence cover. It came with the house. And then back here is just like weeds, our tools, and a random shed. Sorry, my dog. All right, so coming back in, this is down the hallway. So I didn't show over here, but this door is my roommate's door. This was an office, so we have a roommate in there, or a tenant, I should say, going down the hallway. This is also my roommate slash tenant's room. We're gonna actually eventually um, drywall this so there's only one door to the room because having three is just really weird but here's the bathroom we reglazed the entire tub um redid the light hey and this is what the bathroom looks like someone's about to take a shower my doggy okay this is what it looks like from here Again, we repainted it, repainted this too. This is a closet. This is a laundry room. And then the garage is out here. This is what the garage looks like. And then this is a bookshelf where I put all my books at because I don't have that much storage because I basically just live in this room. But here is an office so my brother's girlfriend lives with us and she rents this room basically as an office so this is what her office looks like she told me i can film in here it's super cute in here huh let me get a really good view of it the yellow is so cute there we go this is my brother's room no need to show that it doesn't look I mean, it's not that special. And then here's the master room. This is our master. So me and my fiance like live in here basically. I mean, we live in the whole house, but this is our space. Makeup cart. Here's my office area where I work and create and film and make podcasts and everything. And then here's the master bathroom. I don't know why these paper towels are here, but just ignore it. We reglazed the bathtub. And we redid the entire shower. So we reglazed the shower and then replaced the shower doors because the last ones were very, very, very worn out. Hey, so 
and in here is the water closet. I don't know why that's like that, but there's the water closet. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this house tour. We put a lot of work into this and we're really proud of it and it was one of the craziest things I ever did and, but it was so rewarding as many challenging things are. All right, bye. I hope you can now see that you can flip an investment property in as little as six weeks on a low budget teacher salary. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you're notified on my next video, which is all about our step-by-step -step game plan on how we earn about fifteen dollars to $2,000 a month of passive income from house hacking off this rental property. And while you wait for that, go ahead and check out my other two videos that I think will be super helpful for you in your quest to finding financial freedom. And again, Again, if this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.